Something that I struggled with in the early years of my practice was trying to essentially be a jack of all trades, which in turn caused me to become a master of none. I wanted to be the one-stop shop for all aspects of the client injury presentation, often causing me to miss out on the mastery level. In this episode, I make the case for choosing exactly what provider you want to be and the importance of focusing solely on that. I hope you gain some new perspectives and enjoy the show. Welcome back to the Soft Tissue Treatment Revolution podcast, where we teach overworked massage therapists a better treatment system that will allow you to cut your treatment times by at least 50% so you can stay healthy, avoid that dreaded burnout, and help a hell of a lot more people get out of pain. If you're new to the show and you don't know who I am, my name is Dr. Matt Maggio. I am a soft tissue injury treatment expert, specifically for neck, shoulder, elbow, and wrist pain. My focus is on finding and fixing scar tissue and then reducing inflammation from chronic injuries without the use of drugs, injections, or surgeries, which does lead to a significant increase in overall functioning, flexibility, and long-lasting pain relief. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out the show. Let's get right into it. Therapeutic, recovery or relaxation. Quit trying to do all of them and focus on only one. So this podcast was inspired by a conversation that I had with a recent grad um, of massage therapy school and they're just coming out and they're trying to figure out what they want to do and what they want to focus on and they weren't really sure where to gear their focus. They said they liked a little bit of everything, you know, relaxation, recovery, and therapeutic. And we sat down and made a list of each one of these and really tried to decide like, what would be the best for them as a provider? What would be the best for them financially? What would give the best results for the client? So I thought it would be something worth sharing with everyone on the podcast this week as well, because like I said, I've done this myself over the years where I wanted to do everything. I took every course, every training, every certification possible. I was working like a dog on my treatments, doing all this stuff and not really knowing what was working or if something was good or something was bad and just doing a lot and really kind of getting burnt out. I've never really been a relaxation type of person. I don't find a lot of value in that. I think if people want to relax and feel good, that's totally fine and there is a place for it, but I'm just not a huge proponent of that, but I really got stuck in between like the um, recovery and relaxation, not relaxation, recovery and therapeutic side of things and really wanted to kind of break that down to maybe help get you in the right path too, to being more focused, making more money and getting better results. There's a quote that I learned a long time ago and it says, you can be anything you want to be. You just can't be everything you want to be. And that's what I talk about. So many providers out there, and I'm guilty of this myself is like I said, jack of all trades, master of none, just surface level of all the things that I did. I wasn't really diving in and being a true specialist. When I finally made that switch to doing just a specific type of treatment for a specific problem, it's amazing what it did to my practice, to my bank account, to my business, to my confidence, to my clientele, all of that. There's an awesome peak method trained provider in California and he listens to the show and always loves my analogies. And the best way I think to break all of this down is to look at relaxation, recovery and therapeutic from a dental analogy, from brushing and flossing to getting teeth professionally cleaned and lastly, getting a cavity fixed by the dentist. So I'm going to share all of my views and opinions. Remember, they're my views and my opinions. And if you find yourself getting offended by anything I say, I don't know what to tell you. And honestly, if you're getting offended by me saying something, you probably shouldn't listen to the show. And I don't really give a shit what you think. But let's get right into it. Let's start with relaxation. So I would equate this to the brushing and flossing side of things. Yeah, it's very important to do, but there's also very low skills involved. When low skill is involved, it causes the pricing to also be low, and it does force the provider to compete with big chain places and keeping prices affordable. Even when you look in the like floss and 
uh, toothbrush category, yeah, there are the electric ones that are fancy, but most toothbrushes and floss are pretty much priced the same. You can't really be like even priced even higher. And people that are doing just strictly relaxation, they're having to compete with the other big places and the big change where people are helping them relax as well. I just don't see a huge benefit to relaxation. I understand if people are stressed and want to decompress and whatever, that's totally fine. But I want to solve problems. I want to help people. Yeah, you are helping them relax, but I think it's a mindless thing and you're just kind of going through the motions. You got your whole routine where you go in, you start there, you go there and you give them a great experience and that's awesome, but it really capped financially in what you can do. Now on to recovery. Um, I would equate this to getting a deep clean by a hygienist. You know, it's very important to have done it's more focused and it's able to make a bigger difference in their overall health of their teeth, of their body. It's gonna really help them recover and be better. It does require a higher level of skills than relaxation and you can definitely charge a bit more than the relaxation model. And honestly, I would include any modalities of like deep tissue work, cupping, stretching, corrective exercises in here as well. You can charge more than the relaxation model not a ton more but something there because you're actually getting in there and producing a result that isn't just like hey i feel better because i relax whatever so lastly therapeutic hmm. this is like the horrible toothache and throbbing cavity that hurts like hell and the client would pretty much do about anything to get rid of it the treatment is highly skilled and focused. And here's the best part. Reimbursement is not based on the time spent doing it, but instead on how quickly and effectively it can be done. You know, imagine if the dentist booked out an hour to drill out someone's horrible cavity and they did it in 15 minutes. The client or you, you wouldn't be like, hey doc, uh, we booked a whole hour. I'm gonna need you to get back in there and you know, drill a little bit more so I get my full money's worth. You're just happy the pain is gone and they did it in the best way, most effective, and who cares how long it took. For the most part, the price usually isn't up for debate and a higher price point is definitely implied in this situation. You know, you're not going to like nickel and dime the dentist over what's going to happen. You just want to go to the one that's going to do it the best and get that pain away. You don't really care what it costs or what they do. You just want that problem fixed. Now, so many people, and I did it myself, kind of focused on trying to be all three. And when you focus on trying to be all three, you actually have a lack of focus. You also have no true mastery of skills. You're stuck having to always compete on price of other people and what they're doing get compared. And when you get compared, you get stuck in being what's called a commodity. Then your clients are confused about exactly what you do and how you can help. And then they can't explain to their potential friends that might come in and see you. They're like, I don't know. They do a bunch of stuff. They do some cupping and some stretching and then they, I relax and then they do some deep tissue and then I don't know, but it, it works, but I don't really know what they're doing. And lastly, it keeps you poor. Yeah. It keeps you poor because you can't price effectively. You're always stuck in that model of selling your time for money. And the problem is time is not a renewable resource and you only have so much of it and it's not going to put you in a good place. So what would I recommend? Well, probably going to be a shocker, but I would go all in on the therapeutic side of things. Master some particular injury and figure out how to do it better and faster than anyone else. Then make a shit ton of money. Yeah, make a shit ton of money because if you're going to work hard anyway and you're going to provide tremendous value, you might as well get rich and not have to worry about things. And then you might tell yourself, oh, I don't care about money. I just want to help people. Here's the thing. Life is still better with more of it than less of it. So in closing, this is what I say to do. Make a commitment to being any of the three that I listed, but also commit to being the best at it and only do that. If you want to be the relaxation person, be the relaxation person, be the best around. If you want to be the recovery person, be the best around. You want to be the therapeutic, which I think has the biggest pricing value and the biggest upside, be that. Because at the end of the day, a specialist gets paid 
10 times more than a generalist. And if you need help on getting to be great at the therapeutic side of things, then you can reach out and see if any of our trainings can help you get to that next level that I talk about all the time. And lastly, as I finish and close out every podcast every week, go out there and be great this week. It's the only thing that truly pays and helps people stay the hell away from pain pills, injections, and surgeries, which only make things worse and destroys people's lives. Appreciate you guys listening and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Thanks so much for listening. If you want help on the path to being able to double your income all while working 50% less and being taken seriously as a healthcare provider, I have some great resources for you. Number one, get access to our free training modules and introduction to my system, The Peak Method. Number two, subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Soft Tissue Revolution. Links to all of this can be found in the show notes. Lastly, if you like the show, please leave us a five-star review and share it with others that you know it could help.